Right guys, welcome back to Red Dead Online. In this video, we're going to be going through a list for the bird prices in the grass. I'm doing this because one of the best ways to earn money in this game at the moment is to go hunting. And the best place for me is, I'll show you on the map quickly, just up here around this area and all down here. Just over to the east of La Grasse and Blue Water Marsh, you get mini gators. They are worth $6.50 for the carcass, $3.50 for the pelt, if they're perfect. In this area, you get a hell of a lot of different birds, and the birds are actually worth a lot of money. So I got Connor to come on and help me. We sat there for about an hour and a half, two hours, gathering all the different birds. I've only done three stars, and in the description, you'll have the full list, so that if you want to refer back to this, you don't have to watch the video. I'll literally just put all their details in the description. I've only gone through three stars because you'll find plenty of birds. You won't have to worry about getting three stars to stow on your horse and bring back to the butcher. And I've also calculated the price for the three star carcass. Two of them because that's how many you can stow on your horse at one time. Feathers by themselves. Ten lots of feathers for each of the birds. And then also the different types of meat that they give. The flight feathers and the animal fat too. We haven't done every single different type of bird you can get. We've just done the birds that are worth getting. Like we haven't done the sparrows. They're very, very small. There's a couple of other tiny birds and there's bats as well. But we haven't gone through them because they're just not worth it. This video is the ones that are worth the most money. I swear to God, people keep griefing me. I'm getting sick and tired of it. I'm going to be doing videos soon of proper payback to the griefers. I'm going to wait until people grief me and I'm going to ruin their day. So to start off the list, the Heron is $3.25 each for the three star carcass. You can carry two on your horse, so that's $6.50 for two. The feathers are $1.50 each, so 10 of those in your satchel is $15. Every single feather for any bird, you can carry a maximum of 10. All the meats, the animal fat, the flight feathers, you can carry 10. It's just the carcasses, you can only have two because you get to stow one either side of your horse. So all together for the heron, with 10 feathers, two carcasses, is $21.50. Next up we have the cranes, a three star carcass for a crane is $2.75 so two of those is $5.50. The feathers are $1.20 a piece so that's $12 for 10. Altogether it comes to $17.50. The egrets are next on the list and these are actually bugged, well I don't know if they're bugged for certain, but for some reason the plumes you can't actually sell to the butcher. If we have a look in my satchel and go along to materials into the plumes, you can see that I've got three reddish egret plumes, three snowy, two little egret plumes. If we come over to the butcher and we go into the sell section, you can't actually sell them. If we go along to materials, you can see that the plumes are there. It just says the shopkeeper does not accept this item. I don't know why he won't buy them. I went to a fence and the fence don't buy them either. But it says they can be sold, so I don't know how to sell them, and their feathers have different prices. So the feathers are completely void in this video, but the carcasses are $3.50 each, so two of those will be $7. And just in case your egrets haven't glitched out if this is like a little bug, the little egret plumes are worth $2 each, the snowy are worth $2.50, and the reddish egret plumes are $1.75 each. Next up we have the loon, $2.75 for a three-star carcass, which is $5.50 for two. The feathers are $1.20 a piece, so that's $12 again. The total is $17.50 for those. The spoon bill, $4 a carcass, so that's $8 for the two. And the feathers are worth $1.95 each, so that's $19.50 for 10 feathers. So all together for the two bird carcasses and the 10 feathers, that's $27.50. Because I can't sell the egret plumes, the spoonbill is the most expensive bird. They're fairly common as well, so if you spot them, make sure you kill them because they're worth quite a bit of money. Then we have the hawks, $3.25 per carcass, which is a total of $6.50. Feathers are $1.50 each, so that's $15 for 10. $21.50 is your total for the hawks. The vultures are $2.75 a carcass, so that's $5.50. The feathers are $120, which is $12 for $10, $17.50 for the vultures. The pelicans are $3.75 each for the carcass, so that's $7.50 for two. The feathers are $120 again, so that's another $12. $19.50 is your total for the pelicans. The owls, which are a nighttime bird, they only come out at night. 
They're not too common either, but they're worth three dollars twenty-five a carcass, so that's six fifty for the two. And the feathers are worth one fifty, being fifteen dollars for ten. So the total for those is twenty-one fifty. Ravens are next up, and these to get the perfect kill, so that you get the free star, you are going to need the small game arrows. To get small game arrows online, you need to go to the fence and buy the pamphlet. I'm not entirely sure what rank you have to be, but that pamphlet costs $350. Then you need all the ingredients, like you need the flight feathers, you need the shotgun shells, and I can't remember the third one. But a raven carcass is $1.75, so two of those is $3.50. The feathers are only $0.45 cents each, so that's $4.50 for 10 feathers, which brings your total for the ravens up to $8.00. Then we have ducks. These are the same as the ravens. You need the small game arrows. They're worth $2.75 a carcass, so that's $5.50 for the both. $0.30 cents for the feathers, which is terrible because that's only $3 for 10 feathers. The total for two carcasses and 10 feathers for the ducks is $8.50. And then the last bird that we hunted isn't a bird you see flying around all the time, but they're fairly common up in that section of the map that I showed you. The turkeys, three-star carcasses are worth $2 a piece, so that's $4 for the two. The feathers, again, the same as the ravens, are 45 cents a piece, so that's $4.50 for 10, which brings the total for two carcasses and 10 feathers up to $8.50. The good thing about hunting these birds, I wouldn't do a full run because I'm going to explain the price for that in a minute, but when you're hunting and you're, if you're going for mini gators and stuff and different animals that are up there because you can get white-tailed buck, you can get deer, you can get rabbits, you can get skunks, raccoons, there's loads of different animals that spawn up in that area. I did a run earlier. I was literally 45 seconds. It was night time. I got two owls. I went and sold them straight away and that was like $16. It took no time at all. So I wouldn't sit there for too long making sure you've got 10 feathers for each bird. But the good thing about the birds is when you're hunting them, a lot of the time the birds are going to drop three feathers per bird. So if you go and kill one spoonbill... You get $4 for the three-star carcass, and then you get $1.95 for each of the feathers. If you get three feathers drop off one spoonbill, that's $5.85, and then the carcass. So one spoonbill is worth $9.85. So efficiency all comes down to the spawns of the birds, always look in the sky and stuff for them. The time of day also has an effect on it. And it depends, I used a varmint rifle for the majority of the kills, but as I said with the ravens and the ducks, you need small game arrows or you're not going to get the free star. There is other little birds, I can't remember the name of them, I do know you get sparrows and there's bats as well that fly around at night time, but I haven't noted their prices and stuff because they're not worth hunting. So onto the meats, the flight feathers and the animal fat. I can't remember which birds these meats drop off, but when you're hunting, you'll find them anyway, and like exotics come off like vultures and stuff. But the game meat bird meat is 25 cents a piece, so that's $2.50 for 10. The flight feathers, you can use them for small game arrows to craft them, or you can sell them. Hunting birds, you're going to find a lot of them. They're very, very common. So you don't need to worry too much about keeping the meat aside to go and cook it at camp so that you can refill your cores and everything. You'll get plenty of it. So the flight feathers are 15 cents each. That's $1.50 for 10. Exotic bird meat is 60 cents a piece. So that's $6 for 10. Animal fat is 25 cents. So that's $2.50. Normal game meat, I can't remember. I think that might drop off the turkey. No, I think the turkey is the plump meat. I'm not entirely sure. But the normal game meat is $0.60, cents, so that's $6 for 10. The plump bird meat is $0.40, cents, so that's $4 for 10. And if you was to have no feathers, no carcasses, you literally just had all the meats, the flight feathers and the animal fat, you're looking at $22.50 for having all 10 of each one. So now into the final part of the video. If you was to have no carcasses on your horse, you just had feathers, but you had 10 feathers for every single bird that I've mentioned, you're looking at a grand total of $124.50. You can do that in one run, but I wouldn't recommend it. Just go up to that hunting area, get yourself some mini gators, some other animals, and kill some birds whilst you're at it. I normally do like a 20 minute run, then come back to the butcher. I made $200 in like an hour to an hour and a half when I was just trying to find these birds. 
I took a couple of mini gators, but I was mainly looking for the birds, so I spent most of my time searching for free star carcasses instead of actually hunting, so $200 in an hour to an hour and a half is very good. You can, if you're lucky enough to have a very efficient run a few times in a row, you can look at like $300 plus from the mini gators, the other animals and the birds. But two spoonbill carcasses are your most expensive ones. That's going to get you another $8. The most expensive feathers are the spoonbill. Ten of those is $19.50. If for some reason my egret plumes are bugged and yours aren't, for the snowy egrets you're going to get $25 for ten of those feathers. So that obviously adds to the price of your runs. But I voided it out because I can't sell them myself. So altogether, if you have two spoonbill carcasses on your horse, you have 10 feathers for every single bird, and you have 10 lots of the different meats, the flight feathers, and the animal fat, you're looking at $155. If you add the egrets, just the snowy ones, the plumes, that goes up to $180. And then if you get plumes of other types of egrets, you're looking at even more. I think the egret is the only bird that has different prices for the plumes. Because when you grab like a pelican, you get the brown and the white pelicans, they both just go under pelican feathers. Whereas the egrets have their different species, like you get the snowy, the little, the reddish. So all together in one big run, grabbing all the feathers, all the meats, the two spoonbills is $155. That is very, very good money. I've done this video because someone asked me to in the community tab. And that is going to wrap it up. If you have any suggestions for other videos on Red Dead Online, let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.